Right now we turn to the demand for power in the valley. We know that's increasing and now a local utility provider is changing how they distribute energy to try to meet that growing demand. All right, 12 News journalist Jen Walsh is joining us live from Tempe this morning. Jen, what are those long term plans to make sure the equipment is running when we need them the most? Yeah, good morning to you guys. So it's all about diversification here. And SRP tells me they're adding more renewable energy, so things like solar, to their profile because they do expect about a 25% increase in power demand by 2030 across its network. So that's a really big one. We know a lot of folks moving right here to Arizona. And one of the ways they're accomplishing their goal for Valley Homes is by adding a new battery, which stores energy to power those homes. The battery is in Coolidge and it's storing solar energy produced at the St. Solar Energy Center there. SRP tells me it can provide enough energy to power close to 23,000 homes for about four hours. Now that power can be distributed over SRP's entire network. The plan here is for it to be used daily, year round, and the purpose is to meet those peak demand hours from about 5 to 9 p.m. in the summer when a lot of us are home or cranking our air conditioners. And in the winter, the use is a little bit different. The battery can be split into two hour use periods, one in the morning, one in the evening. And you think, you know, that's when we're using our heat to stay warm and powering up those coffee makers. Peak need where customers are using the most energy when they flip on their lights and their air conditioners is in the afternoon to the evening hours when solar resources or other renewables really aren't available. So by using batteries, we store that solar energy and shift it to the, the need when customers need it the most and increase reliability on the system. Yeah, and this is, again, just one way to switch up the way that we use power, the way the SRP does that across the valley. There are even more plans to increase power to more than 1.3 million homes that would triple the current solar capacity all by the end of next year. So stay with us as we continue to follow that one. But we're live in Tempe. Jen Walt, 12 News, Today in AC.